people would love to sit and scale and exit their business and have you know some meaningful liquidity event and, and be able to do whatever they want for the rest of their lives, I would say that that's definitely one really um, exciting approach to take. Uh, I would just say though, if you can build a great Amazon business and then you actually build really strong profit margins into it and you start with that in mind, you can also build a lifestyle business in this where you don't have to have a liquidity event mm-hmm. for you to have you know, this, this incredible experience and you can continue to have a professional purpose. I wouldn't say, you know, I think too many entrepreneurs get wrapped up in the business being their identity. And I think you have to be very cautious of that. So coming back to it and talking about exit or lifestyle business, uh, the first and the most important thing is you need to understand where are you driving to? So what does that goal look like? Is it a lifestyle business? Is it an exit, uh, a liquidity event? What does that number look like to you? You know, it, it, it it's different for every, every person. Where you live, I happen to live in one of the two most expensive cities in the world. So a liquidity event probably needs to be a lot more significant if I'm, you know, in the med- Midwest or the South um, or probably even in, in Florida where you're at um, just because of the cost of living in, in, in my particular geography.